Hi guys, it's Cassie. Welcome to my channel if you're new. Welcome back if you're a seasoned subscriber. This is the first installment of the celebrity style recap, okay? I'm gonna lay down the law for you. So I've decided to do these um, on the last Sunday of every month. Basically, I have asked you guys on Instagram to send me celebrity looks from the past month. We're gonna do a review, okay? Who's looking hot? Who needs to fire their stylist? Settle down with me, grab a snack, grab a drink, and let's talk some celebrity style. So the first one we have here is Miss Kim K um, in Jean-Paul Gaultier, okay? I am not feeling this vibe, okay? I mean, I don't, um, I mean, I'm, uh, Is this one of those, like, colorblind tests? You know, you know the ones I'm talking about. It's a circle with a load of dots in it. Do you see the cat inside, yes or no, you know? And it's like, do you see this green bikini, yes or no? And to be honest, I wish I hadn't. So, I don't know, I don't get it. It's, it's not, in my mind, it's not cute. It's got like a thong at the back. Her and Kanye. To be honest, I'm more interested in the KFC that they're getting here than the dress itself. Okay, now we have boxing champion and all around rich guy, um, Floyd Mayweather. Now, now, he is in this very Michael Jackson history album era jacket by Louis Vuitton from the Virgil collection, okay? And I have thoughts. Initially, when I saw this jacket from the front, I was like, what a piece. What a damn piece. Like, all of this, like, coated canvas leather. I'm also enjoying all of the practicalities of this jacket. You know, we, we've got a card holder on the, on the left breast. You know, we've got, you don't need a bag because you've got all those compartments happening on the front there. Um, he's obviously dripping in the jewels. Um, and I was like, you know what, there's, there's one too many straps around for my liking, but I can get down with it. It's a statement piece. It's like a collector's piece. Then we move to the back and the back is where I have some problems. Why is there a toiletry pouch stuck to, like, like a toiletry pouch 26 stuck to the back of this man's jacket? Okay, look, you've got all those compartments at the front, which makes sense. You know, ooh, car keys here, ooh, wallet there, right? Who's going, hold on a second, umbrella, zipping your sodding back. Okay, see, next one we have here was, oh, this was posted on Valentine's Day. Nikki was giving us Valentine's Day vibes in this Marc Jacobs um, dress. I actually really quite enjoy this look. I think it's cute. I love the big sleeves. Um, I could do without the bag and I feel like we could have, you know what, the boots work with it, but I feel like we could have done different shoe. Like maybe like a pump. That would have been cute. Like a cute like pair of heeled simple pumps because really it's all about the dress here. That bag also is like neither here nor there. Like get rid of the bag. Um, I love the volume of this. I think it's very cute look. It's very fashion weeky. I'm here for the hair and the makeup and the earrings. Not here for her husband. I mean, look, I feel sorry for whoever sat next to her because you have like zero arm space or anything. But in general, like I think the look is cute. I love the little collar. I'm here for the vibe. Okay, see so next picture was sent to me. Is still giving me nightmares. Okay, this is harrowing. What in the hell is happening here, truly? Oh, Yolanda. And we've got this kind of, <gasps> it's a Moschino like cat suit with like printed zips and buckles and like. My initial reaction looking at this was mutton dressed as lamb, you know? But I think even a lamb couldn't get away with this, you know? No. This in itself, this whole thing is not nice for any age. Like, I just want to know, like, did she pick this out? Did somebody tell her, you know, like, oh, Jeremy's picked this out for you and she felt obliged? Like... This one, we have Kendall Jenner. She walked the Versace runway for their autumn winter collection and she was in this glorious... I really like this. This is this kind of all over sequins almost, this massively embellished very structured mini dress from Versace and she has paired it with some shoes that match very nicely. I think it's a very cohesive look. I like it. I think it's cute, sexy. I don't know. I think it's cute. I think it's like a fabulous party mini dress. Okay, I did get sent quite a lot of Kardashian looks. So we also have 
Courtney Kardashian here and she is um wow okay do we ever need butt crack like I get the vibe of like do you remember at the Met Gala like Hailey Bieber wore like it, it was Alexander Wang and the back of it was very similar to this but all you saw was the top of a thong and like it worked for her you know we never actually saw butt crack though and here we are just eyeballing the crack and I just don't think that that's ever like a part of the body that needs to be like shown off like mm, just like show me a little bit of the crack no no nobody is out here like no mm -mm, mm -mm. okay a few of you sent me this specific look and this is Jeffree Star flexing in his Christian Dior head to toe what is that? Is that like a shirt and like joggers situation? It's like a newspaper print. It's the new Dior men's collection. Um, oh, oh, and we also have the matching saddlebag because, you know, Jeffrey loves a complete look. Here's the thing. Um, I quite like it. I quite like a matching head to toe. I think it looks cool. Um, I like the kind of newspaper print. I'm here for it. The only thing I'm not here for are the shoes, okay? And... I just absolutely detest those Balenciaga shoes. I just, I just can't. Like the vibe is just not there at all. Um, aside from that, like I think it's pretty cute. I don't hate it at all. I love a whole matching moment. Why the hell not? I sort of love Billie Eilish, okay? And I'm here for her style and I'm here for her oversized looks, especially because of like her age and everything else in the music industry. It's completely the opposite of everything that we've been like sold previously. Um, which I love and I'm here for all of that. Absolutely here for her Grammys look, especially when I found out that it was like all crystals and it was just like, oh, it was just glorious and blinding in the best way, okay? But then she went to the Brit Awards and um, Burberry did her dirty on this one. Oh, this look, this look is not, look, she likes these kind of bulbous shoes, fair enough, give it to her, but the rest of it, like, I'm not here for any of this kind of, like, you know, like, when it's, like, two pieces of material, like, looped together, it reminds me of, like, what was it, like, Jack the Skeleton, like, um, Nightmare Before Christmas, like, those kind of, like, creepy dolls with, like, stitched mouths, that is this vibe, okay, and that is not a vibe that you want of your clothes to be like, mmm, that's a bit Halloween-y, mm no you know so not not this one here we have Romy Sti let's not with her last name okay I don't know how to pronounce that okay she looks so she is at the Dior show and she is basically wearing a sort of a sort of poncho belted at the waist I'm not mad about it I like how it's belted so it gives it some body some shape it's not just like an ugly Betty vibe um, and then of course we have we have the matching shoes all of that. I'm here for it. My girl Riri, I love her. She can do zero wrong. Um, would I personally wear this outfit? No. Can she wear it? And I still think that she is a true goddess. Uh, yes. Yes, she can. Here's the thing. I actually love the colours. I love that blue uh, against the orange. Perfect. Wonderful. What a pop. What a moment. However, those trousers are not doing it for me. They are giving me backup dancer vibes and um, I'm just not, I'm just not here for it. The top I think is great. The clutch, she's loving it. Let's talk about Harry Styles. Everyone loves him. I'm not quite on the same bandwagon as everyone else. I feel like I'm missing something like, I don't, I don't really get the vibe. So here he is, I believe he was, um, so here he was, he was, he carried a, this sleek Gucci bag to an appearance at BBC Radio, okay? This is something straight off the runway. Look, him and Alessandro Michele are like tight, okay? So he is just Gucci'd, Gucci'd from head to toe. Um, I'm not here for it. It's giving me very like 70s vibes, not in like a cute way. The, the corduroy trousers, um, I could very much live without. I could live without corduroy in general, to be very honest with you. And then this jacket is also neither here nor there. We have some sort of turnips and other sort of root vegetables, um... Uh, donning that jacket as it looks like. I'm here for the fact that he's carrying this like horse bit bag though, like work it. Like I love a unisex bag moment. <sighs> Hayley Sodding Bieber. Wow, this woman has been turning out looks during Paris Fashion Week and it is just, she is unstoppable, truly. The commitment to monochrome is just being worked to another level. Okay, so let's just start off with this kind of violet moment. 
Also, for everyone coming for that Bottega bag with the chain, this is how it's done, people. Firstly, the violet moment. We have an oversized knit sweater, gone into like a, a full length kind of leather skirt. We have these, I don't even know what's happening with the, with the, with the shoes there. I don't even care what's happening with it, really. She's killing it. That with the chain, the chain just pops. Nailed it. The green? This green look took me somewhere. It really did. Firstly, that money green. Bliss, right? Love that. Love the tailored skirt short situation. Love that kind of boxy blazer matching with the black crop top underneath. Love that. I love how there's just like, you know, there's a cropped moment, but there's not too much of that kind of distance there. It makes me feel like it's a, little, it's a little bit more wearable for us, you know, mere mortals. This whole look is something that can be so easily recreated by, you know, the average person. Again, that chain bag just popping, just popping. The, the black leather of the bag matches the black leather of the shoes. Ugh! The cohesiveness is just to another level. And then we have an all brown look with the white bag. This is my least favorite of those three looks, only because I feel like it's like, a little bit it's not boring but just like compared to the other two like it's just wow wow the other two are just something else this is sweetie female rapper um extraordinaire she is really like popping off on the scene like in the fashion scene and all of that here she is in head to toe moschino i do love the extraness of this look and I just feel like the story from head to toe, it's commitment, okay? You've committed to this story. We have got camo and chains and Moschino. There's even chains in the hair there. This, okay, this bag is like too big. That's my only downside here is that like get rid of the bag. But I love the, you know me, I love a black turtle neck with the gold chains. Love that moment, love that styling technique. Very here for that. I actually really quite like this and I'm not mad about it. I really don't know what to say. Okay, so this is Demi Rose. If you don't know her, she's like an Instagram model and all of that. <gasps> oh, burn them, please. Absolutely hideous pair of jeans. Absolutely hideous. Um, with that little, this, this entire outfit from head to toe is just, here we have this skin colored sports bra. Fair enough, inoffensive by itself. Then you have this absolutely tragic pair of jeans. Like just, literally cut them off at that first rip and just wear shorts what was the point in the rest of that ridiculous stupid it looks the worst it looks absolutely just and then she's paired it with arch lights let's talk about okay let's talk about both of these looks okay let's start with the easiest one emrata emrata looks all right in this leather trench coat this kind of mustard color i think she's wearing jeans she's not wearing a top um and then she's wearing these kinds of very boring um yet slightly offensive shoes because they have that uh horrible little uh little toe there and rata in herself is just like perfection so but the, the the outfit is just like neither here nor there my dear dear bella you know me i love bella hadid i don't love this outfit in the slightest there is so much happening here i don't know where to start These kinds of joggers which have zips in them which are again like fine but not as part of this outfit she's wearing like th four, four tops she's wearing a long top with a shorter top underneath with a leather waistcoat which in itself is just like that that's a whole other argument in itself don't get me started on a waistcoat and then we have this quadruple xl leather jacket that looks like it's been plucked out of the matrix with her glasses like no bella no <gasps> let me know who you agreed with or disagreed with in the comments let me know if you like these videos keep sending me screenshots on instagram so i can include them in my next video I'm going to link to another video here in case you haven't already seen it and have an amazing morning, afternoon or evening wherever you are and I'll see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye guys.